is Anna, and for the past couple of months, I've been really interested in artificial intelligence, which is the development of computer systems to do natural human processes. And for this project, I've created, um, I've trained a neural network to play a game, and actually got inspired by AlphaGo to do this project. AlphaGo Zero is a computer program that has beaten a world champion in the board game Go, and it's actually the best player in history. So I took that concept of training an AI to play a game, and I applied that to the game Nimble Ninja, which is an open source game developed by Crash Course Code. So I'm going to play the game first to allow the neural network to collect data. I'm going to go up to about 30 points so that there's enough data, but not too much data. If there's too much data, the neural net might overfit, which means that the function is too closely fit to the data, or the neural net might take too long to train. And this pause at the end of the game is the time the neural net takes to train based on the game that was just played. And now that I have started the game again, we can see that the neural net is playing the game all by itself. So basically how this works is that the neural network first has to gather data based on how you play the first game. So while you're playing that game, the neural network is gathering data about the closest block and it's gathering the x value of that block. So once this, this x value is collected, there can be either two outputs, a 0 or a 1. And a 0 means that you weren't clicking the screen at that time, but a 1 means that you were clicking the screen at that time. So basically the neural net is trying to figure out at what x value or around what distance from the blocks do you like to click that screen. But there are a lot more zeros and 1s because you spend a lot less time clicking the screen than not clicking the screen. So I've added a cleanup function to fix this issue. This function takes two arrays, one that contains all the x values and one that contains all the ones and zeros. Once this pre-processing part is done, over here, this section makes sure that there are an equal amount of ones and zeros. This line says that for as long as there are less ones than zeros, execute this next piece of code, which makes sure that the data is balanced. In the update function in this section over here, the constant network wants to flip is equal to if the network value is greater than 0 0.99, which means that the neural network has to be over 99% sure that it wants to flip, which is pretty accurate. So if we go back to the game now, we can see that the neural network is at around 600 points, and it won't slow down anytime soon. And we can use the same algorithm and apply it to many other games, like Tetris and Ping Pong, and achieve great accuracy. So this is a project that I've been working on and I'll keep you guys updated on more projects coming soon.